What's the good word, y'all? DKB here. So one of our worst fears has come to light very early on during training camp practice. It was advised today that Makai Becton uh, went down with a right leg injury. Uh, according to Rich Tamini, it definitely feels like it's a severe one um, and not something that's expected to come back from, uh, you know, quickly. Um, and this is concerning on a few fronts. Uh, this automatically puts into question our tackle depth, which was already uh, very questionable with uh, Connor McDermott getting injured. Um, Greg Sinat, I believe, is still on the, the NFI list. And that leaves us really with Chuma Yidoga, Max Mitchell. We need to see what's going on with him. Uh, and so this, you know, puts the pressure on us to properly get a deal done extremely quick with Dwayne Brown, who now seems like he has uh, an immediate path into a starting role with us if we can secure the deal. Um, but as far as Mekhi Becton uh, is concerned, he was mentioning last week that he had some discomfort um, in that same leg, which is why he started trying to do the practice with the knee brace. So we didn't have, and you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure the New York Jets would have took some precautions at this time. Um, it's concerning to me that maybe we either didn't catch something or we didn't necessarily play it safe enough, although we needed to get these practice reps in with Mekhi Beckton. We can't keep him bubble wrapped forever. So the question is going to be how quick do we see a turnaround time frame? We know that it was quoted six to eight weeks before for his dislocated knee. Uh, obviously, since everything's blown up, uh, a lot of the surrounding conversation was, well, he's a much larger man. Maybe things were underplayed, undersold, whatever you want to call it. So we really just need to uh, get some solidified information. Uh, I would expect that he's probably going to be out at least the remainder of preseason if it wasn't anything other than a tweak. He didn't need to be carted off, which is great, but he did need the help from some trainers to get off the field. They took a look at him a couple of times. So I would expect a lot of rapid news recently in between Makai Becton's health status and whatever happens with Dwayne Brown, who's now looking like our best option. And keep in mind, he's also still facing some legal issues from some kind of gun charge. Um, so he could potentially miss time as well, even if we can enlist his services. So it's a very poor start to the week for us. Um, let's just hope that we have some excellent news that comes back in regards to him just needing to sit out for a small period of time uh, and slowly work his way back, which we were hearing a lot of great news um, about him physically improving and not just getting back in a great shape, but getting back in a football shape, finishing out these practices strong um, and, and getting back to that form that we've seen in his rookie year. So uh, definitely a hit. Um, we'll see what happens as more news comes out, but let me know what your guys' thoughts are.